Welcome back to Terran Hill. My name is Nilaus, and we are going to give the the new game plus in a try here. Now we do have already all of the uh, all these things uh, done, but we can go into this called an abandoned quarry and uh, do the whole thing again. So basically, these four regions they'll be the same uh, environments, same biomes, but we will be having a little more tools, and it'll be a little more difficult. The map will be a little bit bigger and we'll have new things that we need to achieve so that's uh, what we will do that'll give us the last 30 percent of uh, of the count here so we can get a hundred percent achievement so i was kind of uh, wondering if i should play this more or not i do i very much enjoy game playing this game and i also well it's easter so maybe uh there will, you will have a bit more time to just uh, sit and watch a nice relaxing video where we restore the ecosystem uh, a, a bit more here so uh, Let's dive in and see how it goes. I have my plan is now to make four videos for each of the four regions, uh, the remaining in New Game Plus. So hope you want you are enjoying it, and let's dive in and see what the abandoned quarry has for us. All right, so uh, this will be some of the things are already done. So this is kind of also a if we haven't done all of these things, maybe you didn't get all the animals. We now have a chance to get all the animals here again. Reclaiming this landscape will involve wind turbines for power, toxin scrubbers to clean the soil, and water pumps to restore the rivers. The steps to create a temperate forest are not necessarily straightforward, and you may need to use control fires before the trees can thrive. The first step is in any restoration endeavor is to restore water and plant life. To avoid, to begin with, uh, increase the greenery in this valley with irrigators, pumps, and toxin scrubbers. We know that, and the animals are not unlocked yet. So here is the map. It's a big map. Uh, immediately we see a couple of things. We have geysers. We didn't have that uh, previously. We also have some detonators, seismic detonators to blow these up. That will give us some... Um, what will it give us? It'll give us some... Um, yeah, some, some lava. And lava here in this setup is actually going to be used for making stone. Because as you can see, there isn't a whole lot of stone available. Uh, and we could sort of make, for example, this one, blow it up and then have lava flow down here and then see how far it'll go. Uh, I hope it goes down that side. Yeah, we could do that because this area is really devoid of anything. So let's start by trying to make a little lava river here. I don't know if that's a good idea, but we'll definitely try it. Okay. Uh, the other ones, I want to have that be water and I, it'll go down here, but I don't think it'll go all the way into this little pond but it'll get somewhere and then we can f uh, cool it later on i think let's have a look at what we need to do so only thing we need to deal with is humidity in this uh, location at least for now and all we need to do is just keep it high we need to get all the way up to 90 percent for the salmon so this one is now that uh, what other things we need we can't make any other power except for for wind power, so we're going to need the wind power at this point. Is I wonder if that's too close to that one. Um, and then let's see if that's too close. No, it's not too close. Okay. I still don't think I want it. I think I'll still think about this. And see if that's too close. It's not too close. Alright. We're going to need as many wind turbines as possible to get all the stuff working. The most important thing here is definitely to get the water flowing. There. That's the water flowing, and we're going to get some water flowing up here as well. Uh, I think this is a good location. I'm going to bring it down here, because I'm probably going to need another one up here. And then we need a water supply back here. That gets, helps a little bit. That one as well will also be a water supply. That one, getting water. Hey, we're getting a little bit of progress here. This one, get water supply here. Get water supply. Oh no, we can't do that. So that's another little tricky thing. Uh, yeah, that's... Hmm. Uh, first, I want the water flow. And there's no way for me to get closer to this side, so I can't get any more water here. Um, that one won't give us anything else. And I will be making here. Get the water flow. Let's get it up there. Okay, that spreads out a little bit more. And that will now make this... Yeah, okay, we get a little bit more on the humidity. We're going to get one up here. I'm assuming there. And, okay. That is about as much as I can do. But we now also are fortunate enough to have this one uh, be a water supply. And then I can see, do I have anywhere? Yeah, I can I can do that. 
right? So that gets us a little more water. Great, so we now have just this part. Now, the only thing, we, or the mo main only thing we can do here is uh, top this up and try to get as good coverage as possible to claim as much of this ground as possible. Um, yeah, like this. Oh, it has to be it. It's, oh, right, this one. Entirely inside. Uh, that's okay. And, well, this is, uh, this is something we've done before, so I'll just be skipping ahead on building all of this. We're now almost where we need to be with this part. And just the last part in here will be getting us to 100%. So it's quite clear that we can't really claim the entire ground just like this. But it, uh, it it's getting there. Once the backbone of the ecosystem is thriving, your next step is to increase the diversity of growing plants, introduce finbos, wetlands, and forest. You'll also need to begin to pay attention to the local climate. There, local climate. We've already gotten up to... 30% and we just need to climb this up even further. It will have the challenge that these can only be placed on here. So we're going to need to get some more uh, stone in this area and uh, I have some I have some plants. This is a dehumidifier that drags down that I don't imagine I want to do that. I might use the combustor but this one the solar amplifier is the one that uh, will get us some some heat. Uh, the bee beehives, we don't have any trees, so we need to get beehives by burning down some of our buildings to plant some forest uh, in Arboretum on burned down buildings. And then once we have the burned down buildings, then do something else. But let's uh, start by making a random uh, research location, research center, get us a little bit of things. And the hydroponium, hydroponia, this, uh, this is probably a good idea to build it here. It gets a little bit extra. All right, we got a little bit here. Uh, we do absolutely need to make more water here, or more. Um, yeah, let's let's get this because then it will create lava that will interact here. Look at that. Well, that's not really a lot of interaction, is it? Uh, well, that was a little bit disappointing. And uh, let's see if I do it this way then. Well, maybe like this, and see if that will work better, or whether the water uh, the water just spreads out too fast. Okay, so water spreads out too fast, and that means I can't build this here. But what I can build though is this thing. Oof, that's good, uh, but not yet. Because why not yet? Because I want to make sure that our here is still in the ideal condition, and this one is almost in ideal condition. Okay, so we want to get it into the ideal condition. I think I have to do this in order to get some more water uh, interaction here yes and that will get us just the tiniest the tiniest of tiny bits here there which will again allow us to claim more of this territory that we didn't claim before we couldn't claim before there we go and this as well and maybe even up here yeah that's good so that can get us more area and i think i want to make sure that it, all of this area is first it's going to be green and then later on it can be turned into something else. Kind of getting a sense of which one is the best type of thing to have here. 63. All right, that's kind of all of the area we have here. Uh, we have another option up here to get that blown up. I wonder if we can blow that up like this. Let's try that. Yeah, we got it. Perfect. That gets us a little bit more opportunity to make power. And I can only take one of them because the other one has to be reserved for... Uh, uh, that's not actually much, but this one is good. And anything else we're missing? Nah, I think it's actually good. We'll, we'll just get some uh, more of this here. Hmm, that's probably better. And this one as well. Oh, there's definitely a potential here. Yes. That's good. That also gets us more money. It's really not a lot of money or uh, whatever in whatever currency we're working with here. Could get a little bit more. Oh, this one is great. Mm, look at that. And then I am going to build it. 22, 28, 28. We'll get this 28. Fungi in the forest. Now we're up to 40%. And that means the hydroponium should also be now coming into the ideal location. And that can be built in this location. 
Lovely. We're going to make this into a giant swamp area. There, it also gives us money, so that's nice. But we do need to burn off some things because uh, that's still still the main main issue here. Um, how are we going to do that? What have, what are we going to burn off? Uh, if I recall correctly, you can't burn off wood. You have to you have to dehumidify it. Let me see. Right? Does it dehumidify and then burn it? What exactly can we burn? I can't remember. Let's let's try to find out. We're going to burn something. Because I can't buy build this because that has to be built on a building that's burned down. I can't build this because it has to be built on a tree. And trees only come once I have a forest. And a forest only comes from having a burned down building. So I'm going to have to find a way to burn down a building. I don't think I can burn down anything. I want to burn up here because that's kind of in a, in a separate location. And then nothing here can burn. Okay, so we'll take this out. I guess the idea is that we need to dehumidify something. That's a lot of dehumidifier. Oh, that's not good. I want to do it like a little teeny tiny deep. Oh, that's a even more dehumidifier. I wonder why that cannot be built here. That's not a stone. Oh, this has six out of six. Oh, oh, I should not have built that one. Oh, that's a disaster. Yep, that's uh, the mistake. mistakes were made. This one. Nine. It's just too much. I want like a small amount. This one has oh, 13. All right, this one's six. I guess we do that. Okay. And then I think I can burn that off now. I hope. Uh, I want to build it over on this side. And yes, valid target. Seriously? That was not... <laughs> that was not what I wanted. Okay, but this is now burning. That's a little bit better. This one should be gone now. Fire. Perfect. And then I can build the Aboritum finally at this location. And then I can use this for burning the... Why can I not burn trees anymore? Can I not... Why can I not burn trees? Huh. Really? How are we not burning trees? Five out of six, don't like that idea. Well, most of it is gonna burn anyway. So that can be, the brush here can be burned. Interesting how the water spread that way. Oops, I just killed myself uh, Myself here, oops. Mm. That one also got spread too, yes. And now we can make some beehives, I guess. We can make beehives here. That could be a beehive, and that could be a beehive, and that could be a beehive. All right, we're getting progress on these things, but it's still the main issue is the lack of um, lack of everything. That's only one. Yeah, two, five. That's a good one. 14. We want to get all the way up here, and this is going to be the toughest part. 90%. 4%. 4 there. And anything else? <sighs> That's really bad. This is a good one. 90. Yes. It gets up to 81. Alright. Only a little bit more remaining. Yes, unfortunately not much. And that will be the biggest challenge, is trying to figure out how to get all of this done. Uh, anywhere they can place it? Anywhere? Once one? No? I want it, really want it up here. Is there any way that I can... Too close to another cloud seeder? Yeah. That's bad, actually. Oh, the rain has started. Oh, that's nice. Uh, maybe that actually makes this part. <coughs> okay. I was really hoping one of these... Oh, there we go. Seven. Ninety-five percent. Great. So now we have all of this upward. Yeah, now the question is, have I ruined something? Well, it still works. It still works, the beehive. It's, it's perfect. So we need to spread out beehives, and that means burning more stuff. And I think we can burn beehives, right? Yes, we can burn beehives. So I guess I'll burn this part here. And that will take out this area, and it'll be... Yep, 
And then we can do arboretums here. And here, I guess. And that one can also be built here. Great. And then we can spread out the bees from there. Like down to the plains. The bees also spread up here. So we can use the bees to spread out further. And then we can burn down the burn down the bees and get some more progress. Okay, that means we need a little more trees. That means a little more burning. This is... I don't know if this is... Ah, I think I can burn here. That field. Perfect. That's just enough to clear out this area here. Excellent. And then we can build trees. And they're expensive. What? Okay, so it actually have to do it before they spread out. That one and also here. And then we can build some beehives everywhere. It's glorious. And... What are we missing? We're only missing the... Oh, we're missing uh, the hydroponium. Uh, you could be... No, it has to be a low ground. That one. Could be a little bit more. And I just need to build one of these here. Even though it just costs some money. But that will be converted. Like that. And look at this. We now have everything restored here. Got another ideal. With the plant and plant with the plant life and climate reestablished, the final step is to construct an airship by recycling your buildings. As you remove your presence, introduce fauna to the new custodians. New custodians, yes. And we need to put all three. Uh, we're still going to try to scan all of them because we need to make sure that we get all of them. Even though we have found them once, we still need to find them again. Uh, first thing we need to do is get an observatory, and I need to make sure that I don't sort of overcrowd one of these locations. Uh, here. Oh, it doesn't require power, so we can build it anywhere we want. There. Alright, so let's have a look. The planes. Find some planes. Got it. The toad is in... We At least we know it now, because we're fine. And it is Finbos and... Yeah, so we'll build that location. There we go. The brown bear is on a hill with a beehive in a forest. Uh, <laughs> that's a, on a hill in a beehive with a forest. That's probably here. But is that close enough? No, it doesn't have enough forests. On a hill in a beehive and a forest. That's the one, right? Ta-da! We got the bear. And this is just in... Open... Open lake. Got it. And the beaver needs... River tiles and forest tiles. So we need some river next to the forest. River tile. Uh, maybe here could be a thing. It doesn't have enough river. Is this not river? Hmm. It's not river enough. Maybe... Maybe this? It's, the problem is it, it's in range of a river. I don't know what, what river means in this context. I mean, obviously I do, but I, it's clearly not enough. Now that one didn't get... Okay, I am having a lot of issues with what a river is defined as in, in this game. Let's say if I can find somewhere that is actually counting as a river. Is this not counting as a river? Nope, doesn't count as a river. Hmm. This is counting as not as this is not a river either. All right, well that's gonna be a tricky thing. I'm gonna have to keep testing this. Yep, there's a river. All right, cool. There's a river. We found a river. That's something. All right, so somehow this is a river, but nothing else is. That means I need to make sure that I can uh, turn this into. Well, let's find the timber wolf. It needs forest and next to some deer. Um, then what if we scan some deer here? Wouldn't that be a great place? Yes. And then we can scan some. Yeah. But that's not in forest. And if I scan here, it doesn't go uphill. Oh, there it goes. Okay. So now the sea otter is the only one. Oh, it's not a sea otter. It's a river. River beaver. It's a beaver. So somehow I need to make a forest over here. Somehow. Or just try a little bit more. Because why is this one not a river? I don't get it. Oh, 
Oh, 20 tiles of river tiles. That's a lot of river tiles. That's why this one works. All right, so I need to be able to burn off something here in order to get my river tiles. Uh, I do have a lot of money, so that's not really a big deal. Uh, I can burn off... I need to burn off a building as well, so that means burn itself off, I guess. There. And then it burns itself off, and that means we can build this as a hydroponium. Ooh. Maybe? Let's so get some forest at this point, and then let's try. Ta da! We got all six animals. Perfect. <clears throat> that was good. Now we just need to reclaim everything we have, and uh, that's also going to be a little bit tricky. We first need to build this location. Uh, I guess we can build it here. It's fine. And this one next to it. Ooh, we can make it into a flying recycling drone. That's actually really nice. And we also have this. We didn't have that in the previous one. So if we can build some tiles here. But then we have... That's why we need the rock hopper. The rock hopper jumps over here. That one. Here. All the way up here into this area. That's a pretty, uh, pretty good location. Uh, anything else? This can also probably be rock topped over here. That's gonna be fine, and then it'll be this location. And then I really desperately need another one down here. Uh, so this is not connected, and I need it to be connected to what? Activatable building. Yeah, that's an activatable building to move it around. And how about you? Nothing to rob cop anywhere. No. You can do that. That's good. And that will be connected to here. And that can be connected to... Nope. Can be connected to this one. And then can be connected to that. It can be connected up here, I think, but they, they don't really need to be connected, do they? What if I do... Something like this. And then after that, take this out. Shouldn't that work? Yeah, because they don't need to be in range. So I just need to select... Here, go away. Um, this also just... Can take anything around here. Okay, that might have been a little bit of a mistake. But no, we'll take that. And that should be in range here. Nope. Nope. Okay. And it's going to be in range of this one. Yes. Moving up here. <clears throat> and nowhere to place this. Uh, that's okay. Let's get this as close as possible. That still taps. It should be fine. And we'll also build. We probably need to rebuild a few things after after a while here. And then that. You're gone. You're gone. All this doesn't really need to be here anymore. And I'll get some reclaim this part. And I think that I can build here yeah, good and we are I think we're getting all of it up here now that can also take it let's see if there's anything out here that's too too much okay all this is pretty good so let's take this out they're coming by sequence so I'm getting a little bit more confident about taking these out here all the way up here that's gonna go that's gonna go by the way we can always also let our can go a little bit faster. That should be taking these ones as well. I don't have anything up here, so it can also be taken out. And that can be taken out. And hopefully we have everything tagged now. We should get the pings on where our locations are. Can you go faster? Faster vehicle. Three times speed. I'm wondering why we're not getting that uh, those check marks. 
It just feels like I'm missing something. I must be missing. Oh, there we go. Now we get the check marks. Okay, but they're all fine. Everything is cleared out. So it's a really, it's a straightforward mission. I wouldn't mean, calling a new game plus. Uh, it's not because it's much more difficult. It's definitely more difficult than the first time we did this because, uh, well, it's a little bit bigger and we have to sort of figure out how to burn things. But it works, and we got the lava thing to try to get a little bit more stone in our map. And we have now completed it, and we are now ready to lift off uh, from this location. Man, it's rainy. All right, there we go. And then we'll get, we now have 100%. Let's have a look back on the overlay map, whether we have 100% completed for this zone. I think we should. Back to the overlay map. Let's see if this one, it trickles up all the way to 100%. So that is 100% done on this one. And we can then go into the next, one of the next ones and try to go. Okay, we got a little green marker here. That means these probably three green markers are probably indicating that they are now 100%. This zone, 100%, 100%. Great. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. This little sort of Easter entertainment. And I'll be continuing with the other zones over the next couple of days. And then we'll be ready to tackle new and interesting games once the next one comes out after Easter. Thank you very much for watching. Until next time, take care and stay effective.